Welcome back to another MLB The Show 17 video. Hopefully my voice is kind of cooperating with me today because yesterday in the videos I made I kind of sounded like Wheezy. It was bad man, I sounded like I was going to be KO'd in a second so hopefully my voice will cooperate this whole video and it won't give out on me. And if you're looking for just like pure gameplay or raw gameplay too, I mean, they were discussing a lot of things over these videos and just this gameplay and stuff. I mean, Ram Ramon Russell was answering a lot of questions and just whoever was playing was talking about things too. So I guess if you do want to see just the actual video, I will post a link to their Twitch page and you can go back and see uh, all the videos, just the original videos and stuff. Not really sure which video this is since they did archive a bunch of videos from the live stream yesterday since it was a very lengthy live stream but it is very good to see another classic stadium shown just gameplay for a classic stadium they did show Shea Stadium so far a couple times actually I think one of the first things they did in this live stream was kind of showcase Shea Stadium which everyone's already seen by now too but it's just really cool how like detailed and stuff it was they didn't do that for like old Yankee Stadium or anything but they did show gameplay for it and yeah, I'm sure everybody had like their own personal preference on like what classic stadium they wanted to see, but it was just good that they show that they showed another one. And yeah, I mean, if you didn't see the live stream, I guess I should just go over quickly what they were discussing in the live stream. I guess not really quickly because it was a very long one, like I said. But if you, if you weren't able to see it, I think one of the first things they were talking about was like graphical improvements and just some of the lighting improvements and stuff. Like that was one of the last things I found out was going to be improved in this game. Like, I mean, all the new features and just rewards and everything in this game. Uh, j just add on the fact that they're adding way better visuals. Like you have to just go on Google and see like uh, player faces in MLB 16 to this year. It's, it's crazy how much of a change there is. So that's a very cool, man. Like they're doing all these new... Uh, player faces and just making it way more realistic like you're even able to see like sweat dripping down players faces now Which is crazy to see dude like all the new visual improvements are insane All the lighting looks amazing all the grass and like field designs are better this year because yeah like it's based off of like uh, re Based off like the real like stadiums now these days because I guess before they weren't really like Doing it as like a grass pattern they were kind of just like painting it on the field But now it's actually like a grass pattern so it's gonna like change when you look at it a different way but yeah, man, it is good to see old Yankee Stadium. It is looking very good. Every single stadium in this game that has been shown is looking very, very good. Actually, more than very good. Everything that SDS has put out in these live streams is very impressive. And everybody is probably uh, excited to see everything that they've released. They also released some, like, flashbacks and legends, too. Like, they didn't only release uh, legends. They re released some flashbacks, too. And some of the notable cards they released in the live stream yesterday, they released a uh, flashback Miguel Cabrera, which was nasty. One of those good hitting cards. What a surprise for Miggy. And then they released a uh, flashback Lorenzo Kane, which in my opinion, in my personal opinion, that was the best uh, card they revealed in these live streams, man. It's just one of those cards with very good hitting stats. And he has like 91 power against uh, lefties too. So he has very good contact stats. And he has that power against lefties. And he also has like 73 vision. With like the 93 fielding and like the 97 reaction. So reaction is actually going to mean a lot in this year's game. Which was discussed a bunch from uh, certain people I'm pretty sure. But yeah man. Reaction is going to mean a whole lot in this game. Since like all new ball physics and stuff. You're going to have to get like good jumps on the ball to jump on those balls especially if they're like fading away from you and stuff but yeah that Lorenzo Kane was disgusting man it was nasty like very good very good everything he has like 90 speed and with the good fielding and the good hitting stats with the good power on the uh, against lefties dude that's going to be one of the best cards in the game if it's released like right at the beginning and they did show like one of the missions for uh, just in Diamond Dynasty, one of the missions that was shown, Lorenzo Kane was one of the rewards. So if that Lorenzo Kane is going to be available to get in one of the missions day one, I'm going to be grinding away to get that Lorenzo Kane because I am a, I'm sure everyone is a big fan of those of those cards and just players who can do it all pretty much. But yeah, I mean that's another thing I discussed in one of the videos. I guess I should say that uh, I made a create a player showcase video kind of because they did uh, discuss some road to the show again. And it was mostly just like uh, creating your player and just what you can expect to see right at the beginning if you're starting from scratch. And something that everybody was probably confused over too was 
Uh, if you like transfer your character over from MLB 16, what the hell is going to happen? But I guess like it's just going to be like the same as if. Like, if your player is, like, three years into his career, it's just going to be the same as if, like, you started from scratch and then eventually made it three years into your into your career. So, yeah, I guess that's what's going to happen. Like, you're not going to start all over and just see all the cutscenes that you would see at the beginning, like, uh, the talking to your advisor and stuff, I don't think. So, I guess if you want to see, like, the full experience of Road to the Show, you're going to have to start from scratch, which I guess can kind of be a piss-off for some people since, like, attributes are going to have to be pretty much reset. But I don't really care, man. Like, I didn't play Road to the Show in MLB 16, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'm sure a lot of people who were just playing Road to the Show and other game modes. So, like, yeah, like, some people probably just played Road to the Show in MLB 16, and they may not want to start all over from scratch. But I guess if you want to see, like, the full experience and all the cutscenes, you're going to have to, unfortunately. And they did reveal all the Live Series player ratings, which I know a lot of people probably wanted to see, too. And yeah, I showed a, I made a video on that too, so if you didn't see that, check that video out. I think it was the last video I posted, which was last night sometime, and I probably sounded like a fool in that video, which I'm, I, I'm kind of realizing now my voice probably hasn't recovered from yesterday over the past couple days. I've been very sick, and I probably sound stupid again. But yeah, man, I'm going to try and get through this video as best as I can. What else did they talk about in this live stream? I already said that they re released some Legends flashbacks the new player ratings and road to the show they showed a bunch of dev games too like there was a bunch of dev games going on from the dev tournament so that was cool to see some gameplay there's a bunch of gameplay shown so yeah that was cool this game wasn't that really long that wasn't that long it was only a three inning game i'm pretty sure so they didn't play like a nine inning game it was only a three inning quick little game battle royale style and since the game is going to be out in very soon actually man it's the 17th today jesus it's going to be out in like a week and a half that is that is crazy dude that is insane that is amazing but yeah like it's just insane to realize that this game is going to be upon us in like a week and a half what does everybody think so far of these live streams what is everybody thinking day one what is everybody going to be jumping on because i mean diamond dynasty is obviously going to be played by a lot of people i feel like road to the show is going to be played by a lot of people i don't know maybe there's a bunch of franchise I one of the, all those people who play franchise mode a lot. I mean, me personally, I didn't really play franchise mode that much in the past couple years, but there was a bunch of new improvements to franchise mode this year, so maybe I could jump on franchise mode at some point in time. I mean, that's definitely not going to be like the most uh, played game mode for myself. It's probably going to be Diamond Dynasty and Road to the Show. And like I said, I have no idea what the plans are day one because it's just going to be interesting to see like all the ways you can get cards and stuff. And if, like, I have a feeling that, like, if Conquest is going to be, or if they're going to have, like, a bunch of really good rewards in Conquest day one, or obviously day one, any point in time, Conquest is going to have good rewards. But day one, I jump on the game, and if I, you know, realize that there's a bunch of good rewards to get in Conquest, I may try and grind away at some of those uh, missions and stuff try and take over some thresholds or if there's just you know anything to do in conquest if there's anything new i will do that and yeah i'm definitely gonna be playing some diamond dynasty games too like i'm probably going to uh well, me i don't know man like that's the thing too like i'm probably gonna try and get some players to get a like a half decent team like i'm not gonna i don't really want to play like a game with you know against a bunch of bronzes or something i'm probably gonna try and get my hands on a couple silver players possibly a couple gold players too and especially if I get that, you know, Diamond Season or the Diamond Season Starter Pack with the Hall of Fame Edition because I still haven't pre-ordered the game, which I still need to do, dude. Like, I'm still so confused. I mean, I'm still, yeah, like, every single day I'm just thinking, like, which one I should get. But, yeah, like, if this, they already said, like, the di what you get in the Diamond Season Starter Pack. I'm pretty sure, like, it, you get a uh, Mission Starter to get a Legend or a Flashback or something. So that's going to be, you know, that's going to be very good to get something like that. And yeah, like that's the thing too. I'm gonna try and get my hands on some gold players, some silver players, and if that's the case, I'm gonna play some Diamond Dynasty games. But who knows, man? Like Road to the Show, I could just jump on Road to the Show and then not want to get off that game mode. Like that's like I yeah, I really have no idea, man, because Road to the Show has been the number one thing I've been excited to see in these live streams, and just the hype has been very real for Road to the Show so far, so I could just jump on Road to the Show first day. First thing I do, I could possibly jump on Road to the Show. Who knows what I'll be feeling uh, as soon as I get the game. So, yeah, like, I could just jump on Road to the Show and then not want to get off the game mode, but I know I've been posting Diamond Dynasty pretty much exclusively for MLB 16, so a lot of people are going to want to see that. And do not worry, because I will be posting a bunch of Diamond Dynasty. It's just going to be, like, I don't know what the hell the plan is. 
day one because I know some people's plans are probably to put like a shitload of money into the game day one, which I don't think I'm going to do day one at least. Like I'm, I'm going to try and, you know, do some missions and probably try and get some other cards in certain game modes like Conquest and stuff before I start putting money into the game. Because, yeah, dude, like, I just feel like that was the case for MLB 16. I, I found that a lot of people who said the game was, like, dead around, like, August were the people who got, like, all the cards uh, up, like, really early in the game. Because I really did, that's the reason why I probably didn't feel like MLB 16 died till, like, dude, like, January probably. Because I really didn't even, you know, get half the cards in the game till, like, summer rolled around. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, man, like, I'm, I'm not gonna, that, that's, that just makes the game more interesting for people to watch, too, because if you get all the good players in the game or just a bunch of cards early in the game, then you're pretty much just gonna be playing with the same people. Obviously, they're gonna be, like, putting out new cards and stuff, but you're gonna have the same people on your squad, and you may want to use them if, like, you do good with them and stuff, but... I'm one of those guys who likes to build, you know, build from, you know, the bottom up. I like to start with, like, a mediocre team and then build my way up from there. So, I mean, yeah, like, I'm going to try and just get, like, rewards at the beginning, try and do some missions and see how that goes. But, I mean, yeah, this game's pretty much all said and done. Like I said, this was only a three-inning game and it wasn't, like, a really lengthy game or anything like that. So, yeah, if you want to see, like, the, the original video from SDS on their Twitch, I will post a link to that in the description. And yeah, I really don't know which one it was because they did archive a bunch of videos from the live stream yesterday, but you will most likely find it, dude. It's not going to be, you know, they didn't post like a million videos from yesterday. It was only like three or four, I'm pretty sure. But you will definitely see that, man. If you want to check that out, it will be in the uh, Twitch or it'll be, yeah, it'll be on their Twitch page. And if you want to see like the original videos from the live stream, if you didn't see the live stream, definitely, definitely check those out, too. Because there was a bunch of interesting information. I mean, there was a bunch of stuff discussed that I may have not discussed in these videos from these guys. So definitely check those out if you have the time. Because, yeah, like I said, it was very long. It was, Jesus. It pretty much started at, like, 11 a.m. And I don't even know what time it ended, like, Pacific time. But it ended pretty late my time, too. But, yeah, that was pretty much it. Ho hopefully everybody enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up. I will see everybody in the next video.